Give us a sign. Which one was it? Is that you? Amelia was telling us about all you guys. Whoa! That's oh, all the way down there! That's all the way over there! Tonight, by far, this location is going to probably scar us for life. And I'm telling you guys, our lives are going to change tonight, for sure. Did you not just hear that voice? Please do it now. Maybe close that door right in front of me. Oh! 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 What? Oh! What? Oh. I missed, I'm about I'm, to have a panic attack. I missed everything. Oh. Oh. I missed the whole thing. I turned and I saw somebody standing at that hallway. Judging by the amount of activity we've experienced, this one is going to be unforgettable. We had an incredible investigation at the hotel part of the River Inn. Since it was such an incredible night filled with so much activity, and after seeing the reaction from everybody who was watching the video, we had to go back because there was still one more section that we hadn't investigated yet. Some place even bigger and scarier than the hotel complex. If you remember from the last episode, the River Inn was built in 1884 as a ranch house by Summer Lee Lawton. Being built over a natural hot spring that would reach up to 140 degrees, this was an amazing spot for an incredible business idea. This place would become a gathering for some of Reno's elite, and it would stay this way for over 100 years. In order to develop such a grand and luxurious hotel, casino, and natural spa, they obviously needed help with developments. Now, the rumors suggest that the funding of the building may have actually been connected to the famous Joe Conforti of the Sometimes Old Bridge Ranch. happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own Small world, huh? Not to mention some of the people that Joe Conforti himself had ties with, including those in the mob, who had also had a part in this story. Very suddenly, close to the end of the River Inn, the story ends abruptly, when rumors say that whoever was in charge of the funding and all the money that the casino had accumulated for development, someone ran off with it. The owner would end up in prison, and for some reason, the associates would keep and maintain the property for over 40 years abandoned and completely alone. Oh, the fuse, the abuse. Oh, please, don't fell trees. Oh, the fight over who's right. This section of the River Inn was its own world, pretty much. Almost like Vegas. Whatever happened there, would always stay there. With that being said, the mob who had pretty much owned that property had some very interesting hidden secrets that would hide behind those doors. There were local and non-local VIPs who would spend a lot of time there in the spa building. Now those people, after heavily drinking and doing heavy drugs, would unfortunately sit too long in the hot tub, causing them to either pass out and drown or cook them like a lobster, and they died. I bury it deep And I flirt with sorrow In the company I keep Now mysteriously, the people who would pass away in the spa building would disappear without a trace. This was done so that they could keep their privacy and their good reputation intact. One of the stories that had really stuck out to us was that there were two women who had sought to be ladies of the night there in the casino. Stories say that they would hang around the casino looking for a new customer to end their night in the spa building next door. One night, both of those familiar faces had been found underneath the spa building dead. And to this day, nobody has any idea on who committed the crime. Even in its current state, the River Inn is impressive. It sat pretty much as you see it for about 40 years now, waiting for someone to pick up where others left off. Without any warning. It may have actually been sitting here all those years waiting for Lawrence McNutt and Dana Miller, something ready for the two of them to move into. Originally a water stop on the Central Pacific, it's about as old as Reno itself. Older residents will remember it as Lawton's, a mineral water spa. Only the oldest will remember that it was abandoned and looted once before. The Yori family took it over in 1936 and built the spa, restaurant, bar, and motel that most of us remember as the River Inn. 
Nowadays, the new owners of the property, Dana and Lawrence, are constantly working in the casino section, trying to restore the building to its former glory. Some of the newer stories that they had mentioned to us while we were doing our walkthrough through the casino section were that there is something still in this building wandering around. Lawrence had mentioned to us that upstairs is his little office area, and every time he is hanging out in the office area, he feels something very strange close to the hallway of the kitchen. One of those early mornings when Lawrence was working in his office, he had actually had to draw his weapon and shoot a couple of rounds towards that direction because there was somebody or something back there that did not make him feel safe. Upstairs by the kitchen, which I think you guys are gonna go to tonight, there is a strange, strange energy. It's not bad, it's not negative, it's just there. It gives me goosebumps. Okay. There, on that one. This one's mean. Whatever's that, happening here is angry. This one is unhappy. There, I don't. I'm not afraid to go down the hallway, but I will try to avoid going down the hallway. <laughs> I will not go purposely down the hallway unless I'm showing somebody the area. Now, as for Dana, on the casino floor, there is one specific hallway that really unnerves her. One day when Dana and Lawrence were hosting a get-together, Dana had walked inside to go grab something for the party when she had noticed a man standing in the hallway and she had felt a very aggressive and angry presence. She had then turned around to walk away looking over her shoulder and the man had already Vanished. And I saw somebody standing at that hallway. It was more of a shape, but he just did not look very pleased with anything. And he turned around and walked down the hallway. And all I did was see his, his shape, but it looked like a man walking down that hallway. Throughout the night in the building, they hear all kinds of footsteps all over the place. And they also hear what sounds to be people speaking inside, almost as if the casino is still active. Now our goal tonight is to try and find out who exactly still resides in this building and to have a great time so let's get into this investigation All right, Ghost Gang, tonight could possibly be the most terrifying night we've ever had doing an investigation. I mean, this place is insane. We have this place all to ourselves tonight. So let's get into this investigation and have a good time, guys. Boom. Boom. It does seem like it's raining. Like Boom. I Boom. No, there's something. Boom. <laughs> you know you. Bad. <laughs> Bad boy. Because you do. Bad. Here, oh, here, I was just going to lock things. Mm. Bad boy. <laughs> Why are your hands so cold, bro? Are I you wearing plastic gloves? No. He just put his plastic glovey finger in Wyatt's ear. Well, I'm not gonna put my bare finger in his ear. And I saw that thing go two knuckle deep. You look like you're getting what? ready to go to a freaking Halloween party. Ready? Okay, so we got all four cams set up. River's gonna detach his main cam, and we're gonna go straight to night vision cams. So we're gonna have six in total, hopefully, this covers all the ground we need to see what kind of activity we're able to catch tonight. So let's get in tonight. Okay, I'd like to introduce myself and the four others who are here as well. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. My name is Skylar. My name is Trevor. And the five of us are here to try and get in contact with anybody who is still wandering around in this building. We've heard you already multiple times while we were setting up, and I know you already saw us. So we are here to speak with anybody. Maybe you haven't been able to communicate with anyone in such a long time. So this is your opportunity. We have these great objects that were designed for you to use to contact and get in communication with us. So the first two objects that I have, these objects right here that I had set on the stairs, these are motion detecting objects. What I mean by that is you walk up to this metal antenna, you get close to it. If you hold on to the antenna, this starts to buzz and also light up. So if you can please quickly show us that you are here And also show us that you hear us by holding on to that. And also show us that you hear us by holding on to that. If not, we understand. It might take a little while to get 
used to us and feel comfortable with us, but we're going to try everything we can to gain your trust. Yeah, I heard that. So some of the main areas that we already started hearing stuff was up in the rafters, the second floor, and the third floor. When we left Wyatt down here by himself while we were setting up the cameras and everything, he started hearing all kinds of stuff. Also, you did too. Oh yeah, dude, I heard a ton of stuff. Like when you guys went to go set up the cameras, I straight heard a bunch of stuff coming from the basement room and then from the front door area. It sounded like someone threw something at first, so. Please make a noise for us so we know where you are. It sounds like somebody's wearing boots. Oh, oh, okay. oh my God! Both of them. Holy! Thank you so much. Whoa! Still making noise? Whoa! No one's still going. Thank you. Are you standing right there on the step? Please let go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. All five of us are here to have an amazing conversation with you and, and try to find out some information on why you are here and how you ended up here. Maybe you can help us out by giving us all that information and just, you could just talk to us. It's totally cool. Yeah. I feel like somebody's right here. Yeah. So this thing in my hand right here, if you hold on to it, We'll pick up your energy. You just gotta hold on to it. It'll let us know where you are. So feel free to walk up to Skylar here, and if you show him that you are here by coming close to his hand, or even holding on to that object there in his hand, that'll light up a whole bunch of different colors. And the higher the colors go, the closer you are, or the stronger you are as well. Use what objects we all have in our hands. Try and suck the energy out of that to please show us that you are here. Feel free to grab out of my hand as a device. Whoa. Yeah, wait, was that a voice? There was a, you heard that too? Skylar, did you say something? No. Right after you said whatever's in your hand or the device. No, I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? Oh my God. Bro, I am so chilled right now. Right on my hand, my device. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, wait, what's that a voice? Whisper. Is there somebody else here with us? Did you hear that? That was upstairs, yeah. yeah. That wasn't you again. No. Oh my god. Here, I'm, I'm coming up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right next to you, Sky. You didn't touch that? Nope. No. I didn't see his leg next to it when it started lighting up. No, I was still standing, going. I was standing like this. Okay, I'm coming up here with Skylar. Please don't get startled. I'm just up here to see if I can hear you. Give me a sign, please. Are they further up there? Maybe. Oh, that was in the kitchen. I just heard like metal banging and the only metal I know is in the kitchen. We know you're standing around us. If it's okay with you, we have this other object that gives you the ability to speak and use your words. So if you can, you can speak into this object right there that's lighting up in Nick's hand. Use your energy and tell us how you feel. Tell us what's on your mind. What we'd also like to know is if you are a female or a male. Oh! That could be either. Both They're both going off. Did it after mail, but that could be either. All right, the ovulus is running. I just heard a laugh upstairs. I just heard a laugh upstairs. Pawn. Did it just say a pawn? Yes. By any chance, can you give us your name? By any chance, can you give us your name? What? 
If you'd like for us to come upstairs, can you please come down here and hold on to one of these objects? Or two of these yes. objects? Did it just say yes? Yeah. It just said yes? yes. Thank you for answering us. We're coming up there. That was awesome. That was instant. Are you okay with us being in here? This doesn't bother you at all, does it? Please give us a sign. You talked in our device, and you told us yes to coming up here. So please show us that you are up here with us. That was loud. Disembodied. Disembodied rope. Disembodied and rope? Yeah. Why did it say it like that? By any chance, could you give us a sign if you were killed by rope? Ooh. There it goes. Thank you. You want us to stay here? It's on the stairs. Do that. Chance digital face. Chance digital face. I just heard that. Oh, oh, oh. Did you hear that one? Mm -hmm. No. Somebody stepped right on the step. Malevolent. Malevolent. Malevolent, huh? Please give us a name. We'd like to call you by your name and be respectful towards you. You know he said chance digital face. Maybe he's saying we might have a chance to see him with our cameras. That Ooh, interesting. Maybe he's saying we might have a chance to see him with our cameras. That Ooh, interesting. Can we see you with our camera? Can you possibly show yourself? If you do, we'd really appreciate it. Where would you like us to go? Are we in the wrong area? Nobody specified exactly <laughs> where. <laughs> Both of us are like, what? Wait, that wasn't any of you? No. I, I, I was watching. That was definitely not us, dude. I was behind this bar. There's like a bar right here. Oh. I heard that. Please, oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Are you back behind us here in the bar? I think I just heard a voice. Are you back behind us here in the bar? I think I just heard a voice. I'm gonna make my way over here. Akasha. Okay, Akasha. Is that your name? Akasha? If that's your name, thank you for giving us that information here. There's a rope right there, guys. Right there. There is a rope right there. There is a big ass rope, isn't there? Was that the rope that you're talking about? Okay, maybe this might be a little bit easier for you and you might feel a little bit more comfortable with less people. So what we are going to do is we're gonna split up. Three of us are gonna stay over here in the kitchen. If you can give those three people some information over there, that would be great. And then two of us are gonna go to the second floor. All right, boys, so this is how it's gonna go. We are going to have to split up. So, since there's five of us, two are gonna go together, three are gonna go together. The ones who are the furthest out, away from the bullseye, they get to s stick together and investigate. The other three, they're safe and they get to hang out, all three of them, and do a nice and safe investigation. And we're doing it from here. <laughs> like, literally, from here. Look at where the dartboard is. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go first. I'll accidentally stick River. <laughs> literally. Ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see this? Come here, look! Look at the bullseye I did! <laughs> he just throws his dart. <laughs> oh, you are f bro. I'm, I'm alone. I'm alone tonight, that's just it. 
<laughs> Even worse, dude. <laughs> All right, Wyatt. Did you throw it like a baseball? I threw it like however. I don't know. Oh, okay. Not horrible. So me and you are, are we're, we're so far safe. Oh, yeah. All right, this is you, Riv. Hi, Mom. Oh, my God. He actually got the board. Let's get one more run. Yeah. Best two out of three? Yeah, yeah. Please don't throw it at me. I need, I need all the room, boys, because this one's gonna be a bullseye. Yep, bullseye, you see that? All right, Nick is feeling it. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, oh no. Oh. Nick's position is a little bad. Ooh. Where did that go? Nice, guy. Nice, right on the edge. This is Wyatt, beginning of the fifth. Hey, look at that. Hey, River, if you hit the board, that just means I'm alone tonight. Can I please have a redo? No. God damn it. All right, you have anything you want to say to mom? I miss your kicks. I miss your, I miss no, that. Okay, hang on. I miss hang your, on. I miss, hang on. <laughs> Holy hang dude. on. Hold on. What are you I saying? That, bro. What? Yo, yo, hold on. I miss your apple pies, man. <laughs> okay, all right. That makes more really? sense. The cakes thing. I'm feeling bullseye. Feeling bullseye. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Riv, you were. Which one was it? This one. River Ryan. Wyatt Skyler. Wait, me and Ryan are closest, dude. I think we're getting yeah. the walkway. You and, you and Ryan, Skyler and Wyatt. And then there's me. <laughs> All right, here, here, let me change this up here. We're gonna change this up real quick. The two who are closest to the bullseye, since me and River are closest to bullseye, we're gonna go ahead and just go us two and then give the guys, you know, the three. So we got the walkway. Let's start an investigation. Stop fooling around. Time to get serious. So let's go. All right, so you might not have seen us yet. What the fuck? Oh, that was you. Oh my God. <laughs> You might have already seen us walking around, but we'd like to introduce ourselves again. My name is Nick. My name is Skyler. My name is Wyatt. I was just gonna say the problem with our end here is yeah, us two volunteered to do this, but we're literally going right above us. That's where we're going, right above us. And to get right above us is to go to the opposite side of the building. So we got kind of a ways to go, so let's go. Lawrence says that he hears you back here all the time. You like him? He's the new owner of this place. Cool. Paul? Paul, is that your name? Is your name Paul? Lover. Lover? Is this a female and Paul was your lover? Made it all the way to the other end, so. Oh, that's not creepy at all, dude. I just looked at that and I didn't even want to think about that. Oh, do you feel that? Okay, we're coming up. We just set up another device so that you can talk to us or show us you're here easier. If you walk in front of it, it'll play a noise and light up. Is there any way you could do that? Okay, maybe you didn't hear us when we were down there, but I'd like to introduce us to, my name is Ryan. My name is River. So if there is anybody up here, we have these amazing objects here that will give you the opportunity to speak to us and communicate with us. Oh, really? I heard that. That will give you the opportunity to speak to us and communicate with us. Really? I heard that. You swear? I heard that. I heard that very loud and clear. Hello? Oh my God. What? what? That? that was your audio. Mine? Yeah. How's my... How's... Where are you? We know you're in here. Come on now, just show us. We're just trying to talk with you. Maybe try to learn more about you. You're having trouble, you can use our energy and our batteries and our devices here. It should help you out. Frustration. Frustration. Oh, maybe they are having trouble. We're gonna walk on the catwalk. Well, any chance are you over there? Oh, shit. What? Did somebody just 
just knock. Oh, dude. Shh. I think there's somebody right there, right? Do you see? What do you see? I can't see anything. I don't see anything. No one's there. Should I go over there and see if I can make Creepy. We're locking ourselves in here with you. Whoa, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You good? Watch your head. Well, let me know when, it, when I need to watch my head because I don't have my flashlight on. Say something or maybe knock on something. Let me pull back to you guys. I don't want to sit over here alone. What did I just ask? Neither. You just asked him to say something or make Say a noise. something or make a noise in it. So they don't want to. Do you not want to talk to us? Are we bothering you? We'll leave if you ask us to. Had enough. Had enough. No way. No way, dude. Oh my god. Oh! oh. Alright. Okay. Music box. Let's go over there. I don't want to go over there. Is there someone standing right there? Dude. Demand. Demand, yeah, they want us to leave. Alright, let's go. I'm very, very uncomfortable. It hasn't stopped, dude. It's still there. Let's go. With this object here in my hand, this one is a sensor object, so all you have to do with this object here is walk up to it and hold on to this antenna here. Just like that. This is not good. We're sorry for disturbing you. Look, that's where it is. Can you see the flashing light? Where? Are you standing right there? Denise. I also have another object that is almost the same. But this one, you can hold on to it and it starts to light up a whole bunch of different colors. The more the colors, the closer or stronger you are. So please give us a sign. At us. So this is the doorway. I'm gonna turn this off now. Hold on. Move your hand in front of it. Now move. Dude, there's someone standing right next to you. This thing has almost never malfunctioned, right? Oh, it's never done this. No. Cool. Cool. Dude! Dude, look at you! Look at me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you see him? You He's, can see me? He looks like a skeleton, huh? Do you like it? Back up a little bit. There's like over behind you and over there. Are you walking towards us? If you are. Oh, dude, I'm freaking out. I'm literally trying to stay strong right now. Oh my god. Dude. That's never happened. Turn it, turn it off and turn it back on. Back on. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, they moved. Did you just walk away? The attic. Yeah. There's an attic There's in the next room. There's so literally a ladder right there to go up. Where is it? It's right, it's right, right there. there. You can see it through? Yeah, I can see it. It's right there. This next device here is a yes-no object. The red side, it means no. The green side, it's yes. The left is green. Right is no. Is it strange having someone that knows you're here and wants to talk to you? It is. Green. It is strange. Don't worry, we mean you no harm. We have a really cool object here that gives you the ability, like I said, to speak. 
So you can use your words here. Now I understand you might be feeling like you can't trust us right now, but what we're trying to do is gain your trust. So whatever we need to do to have a good talk with you, please just come up to this object here and let us know. Can you tell us your name? Let's be friends. Let's be friends. That's the second you time. said we're friends earlier. We can be friends, but you might have to tell me your name. You already know our names. Amelia. 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 Thank you. By any chance, can you come up to us and give us a name here? Use your energy. Did you not just hear that voice? Did you not just hear that voice? I did. Did you not just hear that voice? Did you not just hear that voice? I did. Thank you. Ryan, it's down this way. Is it? Oh, 100%, dude. 100%. Are you right over there? Speaking to this device we have. Oh, I'm shaking, dude. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> you... That scared the shit out of me. That's the first time that went off, right? I... Uh, here, yes. You are right there, aren't you? I'm getting freaked out. I have the fattest chills right now. Holy shit, what was that, bro? Here. Something about over here? It, and then did you just hear that click right next to me? What did you say? Oh. Do you like the music of that place? There's nothing over there. There's no yeah. way for us to manipulate that. And the REM pod's right there on the floor. Yeah. But even that's not going off of that floor. Whoever's standing right there, can you touch the other one that we put on the floor? That one will light up too. All you have to do is touch the metal antenna. Dude, continuous again. I can't believe it. It was so quiet for so long. How long? Tired. Was... Tired. Tired. She's running out of energy. I'm sorry. Amelia, are you running out of energy? Yes. Oh, it's green. It's totally green. Okay, my battery's at half, too. Probably. Okay, Amelia. I'm gonna run downstairs and bring you some more power. Did you f I'm hearing The it. railing just got hit. I'd like to give you a little bit of information about ourselves to try and make you a little bit more comfortable with us. The guy that's with me, him and I are twins, and we've been doing this kind of stuff for quite a long time. I heard that. I heard that. What did you just say? Can you repeat that? Try and speak clear. I think it said, how can you make me better? How can we... That does sound pretty close, huh? Or how can I be better? Is that what you just said? How can I be better? Or how can we help you be better? Is there something? I don't know, dude. Is there something on my hand? On your hand? Yeah. No. There's nothing on my hand? No. I felt that. You just grabbed me? Dude, my back is so cold. What is that? That's walking. That is walking. That's walking. What's your name? Can you give us your name? I was literally facing that way. Sometimes it's really hard to speak in this object, but if you can, these objects here in our hands, use the energy out of them. That should make your words more clear. Holy shit! Thank you! 
Somebody is really here with us. Holy f That scared the shit out of me, man. Me too. Thank you. Hey, right here. The spirit in there told us her name was Amelia. And then out of nowhere, the music box just starts going off, dude. And it just would not stop. And then I'm like, turn that off and turn it back on. We reset it, boom, straight back to just constantly on. And Nick's standing there and Nick's like, oh my God. And the, the spirit box says skeleton. Look at his Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. And then it says, uh, let's be friends. And I'm like, okay, we can be friends. And as soon as I say that, the, the, the pyramid lights up green for yes. No. And they, and they actually answered our questions. They did want us to leave for a minute and we were trying oh. to get a full answer. Hang on. Whoa. Yeah. We, Holy shit, dude. We've been hearing some wild stuff here, dude. Yeah. When we were trying to get her to answer if she wanted us to stay or leave, she said, it's very lonely here. Yeah. What? Yeah, what? She, said, she said, I'm very lonely here. Is exactly what, what, what came through. Yeah. So she must be stuck just in the kitchen. Something, I don't know why. How? That's odd, very odd. Yeah. There's somebody up here, they don't want to tell us their name, but they made some of our devices go off and they have been walking as if they're wearing boots on this metal walkway on the catwalk. Really? Yeah, and there it is again. It's going on right now. Do you hear that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Which, do you hear it right over there? Left. Yeah, yeah. behind me. Dude, literally right in front of the camp. What did I do? Damn it. I stopped recording. Okay. Damn. Oh, shit. Shit. Bro, what the f was that? That was over here, man. I stopped recording. Okay. Damn. Oh, shit. Shit. Bro, what the f was that? That was over here, man. Whoa! That's Whoa, all the way down dude, there! That's all the way over there! Over where? All the way down! Oh shit, where am I? It's all the way behind the camera. It's literally right behind the camera. This is crazy, dude. Oh my god! Oh shit. Was that you? Oh my, I think I just caught a huge orb. We hear you. Try and manifest everything you have, all the energy you have right now. And speak into this object here in my hand. Guys, on the camera, there's something like a long white thing on the door and it just disappeared. Where? It, it just faded away. Up the here? Way, the doorway. The door that the camera's facing. Up here? Yes. I'm starting to feel weird, guys. I might have to get out of here. I'm feeling a little bit like I'm gonna panic. Come down, but let's let's take a second and review. Can you guys come and rescue us? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, cause uh, please. All right. All right, we'll make our way. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a quick minute to review some of the footage, and we'll get right back into the investigation. Okay guys, so we did check over some of the footage on the guys' end. They had gotten some phenomenal evidence for sure. We feel like what they had gotten was definitely a woman trying to speak to them. On our end, when we were up there, I'm not exactly sure, but it seemed exactly what we were saying. It seemed like somebody was trying to speak to us and really tell us something. So. What the plan is right now is we're going back up to the kitchen because the guys had told her that they were going to bring her a little bit more energy to try and get in contact with her. So the plan is we have a battery pack for her to feed off of, and then we're gonna do a spirit box session. Okay, Amelia, we came back, and this time we brought the other two with us, as well as something you can use for energy. They're gonna introduce themselves in case you haven't met them yet. Hi, Amelia. My name is Ryan, and that's my twin brother, River. 
We're just here to join the guys. We brought you more energy and hopefully you feel comfortable with us being here too. We're here for the same reason. You guys heard that already? Yeah. We're here for the same reason. You guys heard that already? Yep. Now if it's okay with you, we have this object. It is a bit noisy, I will say that. But, this will allow you to use more words here. So if you speak into it, you use all the energy you can find. We have a box here that's just one big battery box that you can use. Stuff all that energy out of it. So here we go, Amelia. Amelia, are you here? Use your energy, Amelia. Don't be afraid of us. I told you we'd come back. Wyatt had told you that they were gonna come back, and now he's here. He brought two of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody was just walking up to us. Is that you, Amelia? Yeah. Yes! Yeah? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you get that? Yeah. You said one thing. Please come and speak into this. Is it okay if we're here? Is that going off? Really? You're spiking the object in Skylar's hand, but can you please speak into this? Is that what you wanted? Hello? It just said hello. Do you like Skylar better? I can step away. Did I say your name? I think so. It said Skyler. Are you saying Skyler's name? I have the same object here that Skyler has. I'm gonna set it right here. Amelia, you said you were lonely. And I brought you more friends. We can all be friends. Oh, whoa! Whoa! That's going off too! Let me see this. That was deep! What was that? That was either no or no. Somebody's footsteps. Say that again. It's dark. Do you not like the dark? That was her. That was her. This is me. Did you hear that? That was her. This is me. I think that's who was aggressive and frustrated with us being here because they wanted us to leave. That's when the music box started too. I'm getting the fattest chills right now. Ah. Are you back? Hey! Hey, Amelia! Hi! How are you? Do you need anything from us? What? What's the man's name here? It's Dan. It's, it's Dan. Dan. That's literally what you just said. Dan, huh? Why do you not want us here? We didn't do anything wrong to you. Yeah. My space. Yeah.
Oh, that's going off. Oh. Oh I'm going to shut this off here. As soon as I shut it off, I want you to show us that you are here with us. I want the proof. Please. You can do whatever you'd like to do as soon as I shut this off, okay? Shutting it off now. Was that a clap? A click? I'm going to turn on this music box once again for you. I'm going to set it over here though. All you have to do is walk in front of it. You know how it goes. And it starts to make music. So if you can, please walk on that side. Thank you. Please walk like this. Walk right by it. Just like that, please. That's all you got to do. Something just clicked there. Oh, 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 what? Oh, Where did that one there? When was that there? Like, 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 there? You just put it there? Yeah. They both went off and that went off as well. Thank you so much. I feel like right now we're surrounded by a couple of spirits here. A couple of people. Do you guys need help out of here? Would that be of interest for you? Well, if anyone does need help, we're about to walk out of these doors. As soon as we walk out of these doors, you can fall right behind us. You okay? What was that? I don't know what the hell that was. That just sounded like something got pushed over. You fall right behind us out of these doors and you are free to go. Okay. We got one more location, guys, that we need to hit before the end of the night. It's already the witching hour. Yeah. So this is when we need to go and hit that. Okay guys, so we saved this one for the last section of our investigation. And uh, we decided this is where we're gonna finish up here. This behind me and Nick is the hallway where people feel, they feel weird. They feel like something is not good over here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. If they don't give us the time of day, then they don't. But let's hope that they give us something. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, now it's your turn. We're coming back here. And we're trying to give you the opportunity too. Lots of people have seen you. They've heard you. And now, if you'd like to speak up, or show us that you are here. This is your time. What are you doing here is the real question. It wasn't me, really? Yeah, no, I didn't move. Did you just make a noise? Would you like us to come further over there? Give us a sign, any noise. Please tell me you heard that. Yeah, I just heard that. Guys! Hey, let's go then. Yeah. If they're not coming, let's go. It's just us. We're coming to you. Which direction are you? I heard you. You sounded like you were sliding something. What happened? I just heard something in the bathroom. Hello? Shh, shh. Oh, oh, oh my god! What was that? that I was... don't know! That was back by you. Shh, hold on, guys. I'm about to shit myself. Guys, 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 come here. Listen to this. Dude. Can you do that again? Please do that again. You didn't hear that? No. I think something got knocked over. I want to go where that loud noise was, is what I want to do. I just want to let you know that we are here to communicate with whoever wants to communicate with us. But also, we're here finishing up what we're doing, so we're not going to be here long. Whatever information you have, whatever you'd like to say to us, 
or do, please do it now. Maybe close that door right in front of me. Oh! 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 What? Oh! What? Oh, I I'm about everything. to have a panic attack. I missed everything. Oh, oh. I missed the whole okay. thing. I can't breathe. Let's oh. go out. Let's get out. What? Oh. Hang on. Did the door just move? Somebody just peeked their head right around it, dude, and, and looked right at me. They looked right at me. I missed everything. Guys, this is what I mean about crowding the area. Feel my heart. I'm so terrified right now. I saw it with my own eyes. I believe you. I completely believe you. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize, Riff. I apologize. I thought the freaking door closed. I had. I just literally had a panic attack and I could not. I could not speak. You're good. You're good. It's all right. Thank you for showing yourself, whoever that was. We may seem strange to you. But we mean you no harm. Dude, I don't feel good right here. I feel very shaky as well. Do we want to go deeper or back out for a second? Look, man, the only thing that stopped me from running out of here is five of us here. Yes, it scared the f out of me. You know, I'm not trying to get you upset. I saw you, it scared me. Because all I saw was you pop your head right around the corner. They were not lying, man. Over here is insane. We wanted to say thank you for interacting with us and showing us that you're here. We're gonna go now. For those of you who gave us the kindness and gave us that time of day to speak to us, I hope we made your day. I hope we made things somewhat better for you. We already said it, but we'll say it again. If you need out of here, this is the time to do it now. Anyways. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. This place is insane. And if you guys do want us to do the basement, you're gonna have to help us get this at least to 8K likes, and we're gonna do it. They call it Hell's Basement. So please press the like button, and we'll see you next week. Peace.